All right, so in our last video we left off, we had just kind of finished adjusting our cylinder shape. So feel free to keep adjusting. Let your eyes work with your brain to tell you if it works, if it doesn't. Maybe these lines aren't exactly correct and you have to keep sketching, erasing, and adjusting. Maybe this curve isn't what you want, okay? But let's start talking about the spill. All right, so you're gonna notice our drink is overturned and it's spewing out its contents and that's going to be our color wheel. Remember, everything is subject to the infinity line. So we want this spill to be coming out from the cup. In order to achieve that look, we have to actually take it back to infinity. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my ruler on this side on my infinity and I'm gonna keep it there. Now, I get to adjust how much stuff is coming out. Okay, so keeping my ruler on my affinity, it doesn't make sense to have that much fluid coming out. So I'm going to just kind of adjust and draw very lightly inside this cylinder. Now, fluid isn't going to be that perfect coming out. So what I want to do is I just want to kind of create a wiggly line. Now, the spill. It's very important that the spill grows, gets larger, but there's a few ways where we make it look like it's coming out at us. So what we want to do is I want to kind of overlap. So I'm going to come below my spill line. I'm going to start off horizontal. It's very important that my first line is horizontal. And then I'm going to make this irregular shape, whatever I want. But when I get to this side, it's very important that my last line is also horizontal. And then if I want, I can have another color inside my cup that's coming out. And then again, I'm going to repeat this shape. I'm going to keep my lines thin at the top, but horizontal. See, look at that, horizontal and thin and close. As I come to the bottom, my line grows away. And then look what happens as I come back, thin and horizontal. So just watch me and then you're going to try. So each time, I'm not going to have another one come out, another color come out. So each time I'm going to start off with a horizontal and thin, and then my shape grows. Okay, so that's three. On a basic color wheel, you should have six colors. So I need six blobs. So watch what's going to happen to my shape as it continues to grow. So again, horizontal and thin. Kind of repeat the shape. It can change. but thin and horizontal again. So look, one, two, three, four. I need two more, but look, I don't have room for two more down here, so watch what's gonna happen. Here comes my fifth, thin and horizontal. Oh, off the edge of the paper. Imagine where it is, pick it back up. And again, your shape can change a little bit. Thin and horizontal, it's very important. All right, so one more. Thin and horizontal. Now it looks like my spill is coming out towards me. 